We now have our GMA cover story, part of our summer skin intervention series. We've told you how important it is, of course, to use sunscreen, but how well do your kids apply it when they're left to their own devices? Hmm. Becky Worley is here with an eye-opening experiment. Hey, Becky. Good morning, Amy. I chase my kids around every morning with a tube of this stuff, and it's a battle. But experts say kids should put on their own screen, sunscreen. All right, that sounds good, but at what age do they actually do a decent job? You know how kids feel about sunscreen? They hate it. I don't want sunscreen on. I don't need it. I get annoyed. Sunscreen's icky. It's quite annoying. But parents know it's a must. The American Academy of Dermatology says even one blistering childhood sunburn is a contributor to later life skin cancers. And while the CDC says children of all skin tones should wear sunscreen regularly, past research shows nearly four in 10 kids don't. Why? Well, I submit this reenactment from my daughter. Put on sunscreen, Emmy. No, I don't want to put on sunscreen. It's a battle. <laughs> That's what I get. <laughs> oh, stop. But Holly Thaggard, a former elementary school teacher and founder of her own sunscreen company, Supergoop, says there is an alternative. If you're old enough to brush your teeth and wash your hands, you're old enough to do your own sunscreen. Really? OK, let's try. We're using a special camera fitted with a UV sensor. When sunscreen goes on, it shows up as black and highlights any missed spots. We start with seven to nine-year-olds to see if their application is thorough. The kids put it on, then we review what they miss. As each of these children applied, none of them hit the ears. And the ears are actually very vulnerable to sun damage. Another frequent miss? Children forget to apply it right on into the hairline. And something all the younger kids struggled with, not using enough sunscreen. Uh-oh. When I come over here, what do you see? Uh, I missed a lot of spots. <laughs> Holly says the younger kids are afraid of getting sunscreen in their mouth or eyes. We're missing a few critical spots right around the eye area, which is often where sun damage is first detected from an aging and a skin cancer perspective. And the study showed kids using just one quarter of the amount of sunscreen needed to get the protection listed on the bottle. Moving up to the older group, the 11 to 12 year olds were much more consistent. Devin used a lot of sunscreen and so did Gus, also an 11 year old who seemed to get the why. I feel like I try to avoid it, but I shouldn't, because I know that having a grandpa who had skin cancer, so it, I shouldn't get it, you know, to try to prevent that. That's a lot, isn't it? But Holly says he's doing it right. Use enough to where you, you're applying it so that you can see it on your skin, and then rub it in until you can't see it. All the kids said they learned a lot, and the takeaway, start them young, but kids 10 and under need a lot of coaching to get adequate protection. And we have Everett and Mandisa because you said the best way to have your kid put the sunscreen on correctly is to do it with them, right? right? So I'm going to give you the tutorial here for your face. So I'm going to have both of you do it because it's important for mama to do it too. Now, treat this stuff. It's not precious. Treat it like ketchup. So start. Okay, right. He goes right for in there. But here's the thing. Get the parts that you miss. Get your, your ears and your neck first. And then look, you missed a little bit on the hairline. So let's go right up in there. And then straight down the face and get the lips. That's the technique. Straight down there. You did a pretty wow. good job, Everett. I wow. like it. It takes <laughs> it'll rub it, I promise. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.